Hi guys, I'm sure you know that winter can wreak havoc on your skin, leaving you dry and dehydrated and scratchy and flaky and rotten. That's why the hair care brand Way is coming to the rescue, not only for your hair, but for your skin. If your skin has been feeling dehydrated lately, Way has got you covered. The new body cream and body cleanser are here to save the day. The hydrating skin softening duo comes in the iconic Way fragrance, Melrose Place. You'll smell just like Heather Locklear. Just kidding, but maybe, probably, I don't know. It's got notes of bergamot, lychee, cedarwood, and white musk, and it absolutely smells delicious. I love the rich consistency of the product because it absorbs quickly, but doesn't leave you feeling greasy, just very well moisturized. I feel softer than a baby's ass. I have not felt a baby's ass, but I imagine that's what it feels like. Experience the new way Melrose Place Body Cream and Body Cleanser. Your body, your way. Go to T-H-E-O-U-A-I dot com and use code BEAUTIFUL to get 15% off your entire purchase. That's 15% off your entire order at T-H-E-O-U-A-I dot com, code BEAUTIFUL. Hi, it's me, Trixie Mattel, and I want to ask you, what interferes with your happiness? Okay, is something preventing you from achieving your goals? I can tell you this firsthand. Usually if I'm being prevented from achieving something, it's my own issue. It's my own lack of motivation. It's my own like inner doubt, self-like criticalness where like nothing is good enough. And I'm like, don't even do that because you're not going to do it right. You know, that's usually what is my main aggressor when it comes to standing in my way of doing things. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours and you can connect in a safe and private online environment. It's fabulous. What I really love about this, you guys, let's say you have a very special sort of thing you need a licensed counselor in, like depression or um, sleep uh, sleep issues or LGBTQIA plus matters. I mean, what if you live in a rural area and you need to speak to someone about coming out or about, I don't know, having same-sex urges or like things that you don't necessarily feel comfortable talking to whoever you get matched with on insurance or whatever. It's really wonderful in that way. The other difficult thing about getting help is sometimes it's hard to even get that ball rolling. Where do I go? How do I even start? How do I even find it? I mean, you can get matched so quickly. Everything you share is confidential. And the services are available for clients worldwide, which means wherever you live, this is available to you. It's affordable. It's professional. It's convenient. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. I, Trix Mattel, would love for you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash bald. The Bald and the Beautiful is a very uplifting podcast. However, join over 1 million people who've taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp.com slash bald. Well, today we have the incredible, the incredible um, fortune uh, very late in the game of our beauty podcast, <laughs> <laughs> the eleventh hour, um, probably the most appropriate and fascinating uh, guest we could ever have dreamed of, Miss Alexis Stone. Alexis Stone, uh, you Alexis know, I, Stone. I didn't even know you were in the states. I thought yeah. we were doing a digital thing today. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Seriously, did, did you? you really? I said is, is, we're having a guest, and I said, yeah, I think, but it's on Zoom. Oh no! I didn't no, know, no, and then no, you no, showed no, up no, here. No, no, yeah, she's hell. Yeah. Zoom's gotten really sophisticated. Fuck, fuck Zoom. Yeah. It's like you're in it's the like room. She's here. I can even smell it's her. It's a body double. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing well, for you? That wouldn't be that surprising. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing in the States? Soon as I open borders, a year and a half of being stuck in England is just like not the fantasy. Yeah. So I booked flights for the next day and I'm here for a few months. Just catching Ooh. up with friends, cool. making new enemies, <laughs> seeing old faces, <laughs> showing off my new face. So. <laughs> Seeing, yeah, seeing old faces, getting new faces, <laughs> yeah. seeing old faces. I was, so I read a little thing that you were, um, and I was like, oh my God, I know this woman. You were talking, it was like oh, from a couple of years ago, some interview, and you talked about, like, you're, they were talking about your inspirations in drag, and you mentioned um, a few movies, Basic Instinct, Sleeping with the Enemy, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle, and Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I got this, no I got this husband's <laughs> number, uh, and single white female. Oh. And I was like- you would love like, talking about cold women and cow, you know, like it's like, oh, I know this bitch. Yeah. That was like, ugh. Those movies are like they ring um they ring such specific deep bells in my soul. Yeah. And um how old are you? Twenty eight. Jesus. That's yeah. strange. I've just like I get the whole like gay references, like give me Cruella as well, but uh -huh. the unhinged like Yeah. Lifetime movie vibes. Yeah. Childhood trauma. Thriller vibes. Something's yeah, yeah, wrong yeah. with Tanya. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. you need to talk about <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Gorge. 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 
I love that. And the rocks the cradle. Well, it's all about the PC bangs. The hand that rocks the cradle. That, I mean. There's only one line I remember from that film that I wish we could, or I wish I could say. I think I, I know can't. exactly. Is it when she's talking to the yeah. guy? Yeah, I know exactly what that line is. And it's a different time now. It's 2022. Says, oh. <gasps> yeah. About the panties. Oh my God. She plants pan. This is. Oh, I know. I've seen okay, it. Okay, okay. And then I remember the scene where the girl can't find her aspirator. <gasps> yes. I don't or even. She rigged the greenhouse for Jill. the greenhouse. It, it, and then, oh, that's fierce. Peyton cool. Flanders. But you know what? At that point, marriage is a prison. Let him take your man. Who cares? And you can the baby. make another baby. <laughs> you can have another baby. And you know what? At a second wedding, you don't have to wear white. That, oh, really? I'm thinking canary. <laughs> You could do cream, beige, off-white. <laughs> yeah. Um, so who, do, okay, I don't even know where to start with you. I don't uh, know. You know what we do poorly? We don't tell the audience who, who they, they are. are. What they've done, <laughs> what they're going to do. It, sometimes we wait until the very last sentence to say the name. I know. So I thought maybe a little exposition might be in order or an introduction. Um, in particular, I want to tell people if they're not aware, I think most of our fans might be aware of, you pulled a stunt that I think is like... Um, uh, not like I don't want to sound pretentious when I say this, but I legitimately think it's on, like a performance art level, long form con slash art piece. It's up there with National Treasure. Oh, it's it's the Da Vinci Code. Yeah, it's, it's the, the Da Vinci, Vinci Code. Code. <laughs> like it was Tom Hanks uh, running through the you know the Sistine Chapel. It was like because I me watched if you it. Can. On, <laughs> it gets me if you can. You're a, you're a celebrated drag queen and makeup artist, yes. and you used your powers for evil in a for, way. For, yeah. for no, yeah. you used your evil powers to exp to hold up a mirror to the evils of the world. I feel like. Basic. You want to tell everyone what you did? Tell us, but tell them what you. I mean, it's kind did. of old news for some people, but oh, it's no. new news for some it, people. So it was three years ago. Yeah. On New Year's Eve, I tore my face off. Okay. I convinced the world. For, I don't know, maybe six months, I'd had like extensive plastic surgery. I was one of the people who believed it. I 100% believed it. believed it. She believed it. I had to. <laughs> no one knew it was fake. Everyone thinks I had like a small circle. No one knew it was fake. Wow. That's the only way I think it could have, why it And worked. I would encourage people to go right now to her Instagram, which is the Alexa Stone, because you can see the, and, and because what people thought you had done to your face was quite... Extreme. 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 Yeah, that's the word. Extreme. extreme. Whether, yeah. whether or not you think it's beautiful or exciting, it's extreme. Yeah. yeah. Because you you really let them, ha you the comment section became just- um, A narrative. Uh, Mad Max. Yeah. yeah. It, and it re you know what it really, it, it, it shocked me how comfortable strangers felt telling you uh -huh. how they felt about what you did. Oh, diagnosing And about your yes. value system, your mental health, about, yeah, uh, exactly. Everybody was somehow had a, a psychiatric degree. It was in every yeah. group conversation. I get it. Like, Dude. I knew it was striking. And the scary bit is, is I was due to have all of those surgeries. And then I what? know I was flying to Iran. They didn't let me in because I'm I was gay. running to I fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even worth interrupting for such a horrible... I hate myself. Go on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm so happy. I think we're turning a corner. I think this is a breakthrough. Can so you were, continue you were booked to go to Iran. And by the way, how would you just, this is an audio podcast. How would you describe the look that you pulled off? Yeah. It was feline. Yeah. I would describe it as socialite in her 70s. Hunger Games. It Hunger. was. Hunger Games. In the Hunger Games books, the upper class have oh, like stretched implants in yep. and they look okay. almost feline. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. It, it was, was my yeah. idea of beauty at the time. And I think- that was when I was at my worst with drinking, okay. drugs, making money. It was like a catastrophe. Wow. So I was like struggling with paying homage to women I idolized, like Jocelyn. Yeah. And knowing the difference between dressing up. So when I became sober, uh -huh. I rung my friend David, who did Pan's Labyrinth and Hellboy and Crimson Peak. Jesus. And I said, I need a face. And I told him this crazy idea. And I think the idea of taking movie quality concepts and introducing it into a real life scenario as exciting as a makeup artist. Yeah. So he got what he needed from it. I got, I guess what I needed from it. Yeah. I got very carried away. It was like, I was, it, but I believed. You got to story. live the yeah. what if that people with plastic surgery don't get to live. Yeah. You know, yeah. for tattoos, sometimes don't they put it on you and tell you to go wear it around and see how you feel about it? It's like when you work at the mall, you tell people to put a lipstick on and go shopping and see how they feel about it. You put on this whole other face Every day. and got to see how you and the world would feel about it. You got Mrs. Doubtfire. 
But Remember how? when Robin Williams goes, "Can you make me a woman?" That's it. That was you. That was the reference. Yeah. I know. So what? And I'm. I love that the fantasy of that movie, of course, is dra- uh, getting into drag and de-dragging in under what two and a half minutes. Yeah. yeah. So how did that? And how the long reward is to see kids. Yeah, to spend more time with children. I don't know. Yeah. Anybody is putting on a wig to see children. <laughs> Doubtfire, I mean... At least Tootsie got a soap opera role. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. And like to get, you know, uh, to touch Terry Gar's titties. So what? <laughs> um, how? what's the time? Start to finish with that face, it, the top secret face. Life cast sculpting probably took about two months. Okay. Convincing people and my friends that I was going to get surgery. Yeah. Building this... Jesus. We built a hospital in my apartment. What? And like, so this... It, we really covered... <laughs> Yeah, I traveled so I could just take videos of me on the plane flying to the destination. It you are. Why don't you work for the CIA or M sixteen or something? I mean, what I is, don't think I could ever trust you. No, I know well, that. I know that. I know <laughs> information. But, it, 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 uh, I am so. You know what I love about it? I just stupidly thought, well, she probably has a small circle, and it was sort of like a joke that a bet should they knew about it. But the world is sort of not thinking because there was comments that were like this can't be real because oh, you were I known never saw as, those comments yeah. but she I was known as a, a, a makeup artist who transformed of so course. some of the comments were like this can't be it's makeup Ever, people were convinced it was makeup at first and then i think <sighs> it got it was every day for three months i wore the face I, yes because i yeah. remember you wore no, it out i didn't leave the Mary. house there are stories that i wish <sighs> i was ahead of like production then because i would have documented everything but what happened in just the day-to-day life was more of like a tell story like from almost being arrested. I got pulled over by police because I used to wear like a, a face mask before the days that wearing right. face masks were normal. And I used to have to like take my face off and have a hard shell version of it, which is called a stuntman mask. And then I would bump into friends. So I would have to run away because the mouth didn't is... move on that particular oh mask. Fuck. Girl, it was, God. it was meant to go on for another six months and I broke and I posted it. How Girl, did you... you had me at, I built a fake hospital in my house. <laughs> I had to buy all the hospital equipment by registering as a medical professional. <laughs> Alexis Stone, MD, PhD, DID. I, this I is, cannot handle. You know what I'm going to say about you? You're thorough. <laughs> And your yeah. attention to, well, your work as an artist and a performer and all that, your attention to detail is so high. I guess it makes sense that if you're pulling off a stunt, you're not going to be hazy about it you're gonna oh, be like, I have to do them I do you're them showing at the Guggenheim you're not gonna just say I don't wanna do that wall you know you cover all the bases like yeah. this is not drag to me to me drag is handing the DJ your CD five minutes before you go on a scratch this CD. is not that this is nothing of the sort and I just I so vividly recall me and Andrew like following the saga every day because Andrew's obsessed with plastic surgery and we we're like what in the fuck is happening she really did this or like yeah. and we're like is this like it was just riveting yeah. it became a lot more emotionally draining than i had ever envisioned it i thought it was just going to be a little gag where i could go to sleep at night knowing that i kind of had one yeah. up in your on. hospital bed and like the longer <laughs> and like the longer you i don't know sat home and watched hulu the longer you could keep this stunt going and the longer you kept it going the more impressive it was yeah. like it wasn't for a week no, it, was- it wasn't april fools did your family know? They didn't know. My mum knew. My mum, <laughs> my dad thought it was real. Oh, you're a terrorist. Yeah. What did they say when you revealed that it was fake? You Scooby Doo. I mean, I don't talk to my father anyway, so, oh, so. crickets. Fuck him. But it, it was when I revealed it, I knew, I thought it would be a gag, but like <laughs> two minutes after tearing my face off, I had like Kim Kardashian message me, Lady Gaga. Like that's when I was like, Oh, Ooh. I was like, people are paying attention to this. Yeah. And then as it like meant months after I saw, I took so much learning from it and it was like, it was in every like group chat. It was like, yeah. it was funny. And it was at a perfect time for me where I was like in the prime of being a cunt. So it was like the perfect, ha 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 ha, he's yeah, ruined yeah, his yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. face. Yeah. You know what I liked about it? It allowed the performance to really be the way people feel comfortable responding to someone else's face. Oh, absolutely. It was, that was, was the real show. That was yeah. the show. Yeah. What you did was not morally gray even. It was what it was. What people were, did with the way we responded to it was the sad part. Oh, it was, I didn't to kill myself. I mean, it was fascinating because you have so many different, it wasn't even just like for or against. It was like the diagnosticians all of a sudden. And then you have the people who are like calm, like uh, fighting on your behalf. Yeah. And then the justification for that. And then you have the people who are just telling you to kill yourself. It is 
crazy. That was a lot. And I don't have anything done, but I love plastic surgery. And I mean, yeah. to, to me, Amanda should be president. Sure. So oh. what, when I saw what you did, I was like, work. <laughs> I wasn't like, you look better or you look worse. Right. I just felt, you know, it's about somebody's autonomy. Mm-hmm. And that's why you're like, work. Yeah. I felt beautiful. Did you? People really still really struggle to like get up. But I think for me, beauty and surgery, I see it as a science and body modification, which we all do from like, course it's yeah. bleaching our hair makeup it's all makeup. editing yeah it's Art's extreme in your face you said in that yeah. article is perfect like, i'm not aging it. gracefully like it's just not it's within my means and again i said earlier i'm trying to have a good time like not a long time i'll deal with the consequences further down the line yeah um i think something about being unapologetically yourself regardless of what people think it looks like is beautiful to me yeah. i have huge admiration to the the scary looking ones or the striking ones. Or yeah. Yeah. I think it's like, it's sexy. A hundred percent. I remember seeing this picture of you outside of Evita and you were in your full body suit. Uh, it was like, you were wearing like oh, the dental silicone. floss. You were yes. wearing like dental floss. Yeah. And oh, I the, do remember that. The illusion was so good yeah. that it, it looked like, cause you're wearing shapewear mm-hmm. and then you're wearing enough like rubber, rubber and stuff to correct. So you can't see the boning. You can't yeah. see the, it was, yeah. You looked like a naked woman sitting outside of Evita. Nice. It was fucking yeah. cool. I, I saw you like walking through a parking garage and I was like, that's what like that's when I decided to get the full suit. They're, now have you seen have you hot. seen this person's suit? <laughs> that hot though, right? Oh, I I wrote in my little note just to uh, talk about heat oh. with legs. It, it's insufferable. You can't, it's like a scuba diving suit on top of pads, corsets. It's it's, it's oh, unsustainable. It's, like it's unsustainable. It's, it's like a 20 second reel moment and then take it off. Yeah. I've never gone out. I will never do it. About 20 seconds. Yeah. I've worn the breastplate for like, you know, photo shoots six, six hours, maybe four hours. And it's even the breastplate is. Uh, do, you wear a vest, do you wear a vest underneath the breastplate though? Yes. A cut-up vest, game changer. Yeah. Game changer. Yeah, for game sure. Changer. I did it the other day and I was like, wow, I'm really stupid. However, she cuts up her I merch. took it off and then it was like I dumped it in a pool. Oh, wet. A wet thud into yeah. the trash. <laughs> into the trash. You sell those though. Trash. <laughs> did, um, I have a, pe- a piece of information. Did you sell the prosthetic pieces and were they, was like it like one mask? Like when you tore or? them off and it was used, did you sell it or anything? I've I mean, got, I keep the originals to everything I do, whether it's like the molds yeah. or the that's sculpts. that's the NFT. Hello. Oh, yes. Mama, I'm waiting for when I die. Yeah. Or at least make people think I'm dead. <laughs> so cash in. Because they were investments and I'm looking forward to there being a moment where I could make. Mama, your funeral is going to be lit. Oh, no, I'm going to go to your funeral. And I, after all this information, after yeah. the fake hospital, I'm going to go to your funeral and go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Let me know when Santa Claus gets here to mourn. <laughs> that ain't I'm her body, checking girl. pulses with, with, with DNA. Like, not dead. You're going to be really be dead. I'm going to be like, look at her. I'll be sat next to you watching <laughs> and bury me. I, you'll be in a different look. You'll be as, you'll be Sharon Stone. Uh, in a full, like literally, it's just, I know. Goop. I got your number, hussy. Who's I your, have thought about it. Yeah. Who's your beauty icons? Like who's the inspire, your top tens? Jocelyn Woodenstein. Mm-hmm. Because it's just so unapologetic and mm. just money. Yeah. Um, well, I can appreciate a huge spectrum of dr- like drag, beauty, yeah. aesthetics, whether you're male, female, sure. anywhere in between. Are there any drag queens specifically? Yeah, like any- um, any, Not in the any, room. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask you something. If you had to do a body snatch right now with <gasps> someone living or dead and then continue on the rest of your life with that body as they age, Wait, who do, would it be? Do you inhabit their life? You or inhabit you, their body. Oh, just- okay. Ooh. Not their, not their, um, their abilities, physical, like Simone Biles, you could flip and stuff. Okay. But not, but still your brain. I you know don't have to go be Simone Biles. No. Okay. No, no, no. Is your brain and your brain Biles body? I would love, I mean, Amanda is just like, it's the fantasy. Yeah. It's the snatches. I've lived with trans women my whole life. So my reference point has always been like a caricature version, like just the fantasy and yeah. above and beyond. I, I would like to think that's why I do the whole silicone and the pads and the abnormally yeah. small waist. I just like to look like a drawing. Yeah. I mean, Amanda's a genius. A genius. We talk, so, I talk yeah. about her pretty much every, every other episode. Every, I know. <laughs> but I remember the first time I saw a picture of her and she made me want to do drag. I just was like, I just had, I remember seeing that Mac Heatherette campaign and being like, it was like a record scratch. Life began. She just is. <laughs> yeah. She, and she's so nice and I mean, so nice in person. And she has really soft, soft hands. hands. Oh, really? Like the softest hands I've ever felt. This is the one thing I noticed with, not the first thing I noticed, but on, on the list. Yeah. I noticed you remarked on my gorilla hands when we shook <laughs> for the first time. That was uh, exfoliating. That was really interesting. <laughs> I, actually, I actually have a message from oh, Amanda before we take a break. Oh, yeah. 
I have an important message for Amanda. Oh, yeah, this is very important. People, please listen to People, I know what it's going to be. No, you don't. You don't know what I'm doing. You don't know. You don't have my phone. Is you it don't... a short? No, it's a film. Oh, okay. It's Amanda Lepore. You're gorgeous and don't die of coronavirus. True Work. words. <laughs> Work. I thought it was going to be that don't commit suicide. Yeah, please do not commit suicide. suicide. <laughs> it gets better. Well, it doesn't, but let's no, take a break. A liar. Break. Gorgeous liar. Hi, y'all. It's me. I, I'm Leslie Jordan, and I love to wear clothes. When it comes to looking good, Stitch Fix has you covered. Say goodbye to endless browsing and hello to fresh pics curated for your taste and size. And y'all know me, Leslie Jordan. I'm just about four foot nine. Online shopping can be daunting. You never know if things will fit. Returns are difficult and you don't even know what store to start with. This season, let Stitch Fix do all the hard work. Stitch Fix Freestyle is a shop built just for you. Stitch Fix Freestyle is a trusted style destination where you can discover and instantly buy curated items based on your style, likes, and lifestyle. I know for me, Leslie Jordan, I like something a little bit traditional with a little bit of a Western flair. But I'm sized in a way where I can't decide whether I should shop in men's, women's, or children. Plus, there's no subscription fee required, and they offer free shipping, returns, and exchanges. Actually, I, Trix Mattel, I'm also joining the conversation. I've had Stitch Fix, and I have paused it for times when I'm going to be on tour, and then I can push play again to start receiving Stitch Fixes in the mail when I get home. It's fabulous in that way. Get started today by filling out your style quiz at stitchfix.com slash bald. That's stitchfix.com slash bald to try Stitch Fix freestyle. Stitchfix.com slash bald. Bombas's mission is simple. Make the most comfortable clothes ever and match every item sold with an equal item donated. So when you buy Bombas, you're also giving to someone in need. Bombas designed their socks, shirts, and underwear to be the clothes you can't wait to put on every day. Everything they make is soft, seamless, tagless, and has a luxuriously cozy feel. They're made from super soft materials like merino wool, pima cotton, and even cashmere, which makes them the perfect cozy winter layers. There's a pair of Bombas socks for everything you do. They come in tons of options like comfy performance styles for every sport and activity that keeps you moving. I love these socks. I love these socks. I am 100% honest. I'm telling the truth. I sincerely love these socks, okay? I can't tell you any, I can't speak this truth any more clearly. I am not embarrassed or ashamed to promote this product. I like them a lot and I'm wearing them tomorrow. Go to bombas.com slash bald and get 20% off any purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash bald for 20% off. Bombas.com slash bald. They're really great socks. And we're back. Oh, we're back with Alexis Stone, shapeshifter, want... artiste, uh, rule breaker, risk taker. Enfant terrible. And a liar. Yeah, liar. Yeah. Big, fat, fucking fatty liar. That would be my tagline. People, people call, call you a liar? People call me fake, but I've built a career off it. There you go. But who's calling who fake these days? You like doing appearances in drag? When the money's right. Do you like performing? Mm, I think my idea of performance is like what I put out to right. the world. I, I mean, like controlled environments. Yes. Sure. Just because I like find it a lot. Yeah. It's you don't want to get on a stage and wiggle at the club. When you did a Vita, were you more like a, a guest? You'd get on stage, do a wiggle. And- yeah, get okay. naked, turn my face that. off, give the kids what they want. For me, that's like, a, it's a bish bash bosh. Yeah. I love it, obviously. And you get that like interaction of like, n- I would like to say more normal people because people don't tell me to go kill myself to my face. Yeah, th- that's a funny thing about <laughs> If you oh, want. Can I call you dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing about that, they tend to withhold the um, the real heavy insults for um, online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works with me. Yeah, yeah. And, and in real person, nobody ever says like, "No, I've never had a in person situation." The it's, most insulting things are accidental. Like, yeah, like, oh, I um, love your, um, I love your style. And I love your attitude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did, did you know about this? No. Somebody said to me at a meet and greet in Milwaukee, I love your style. And they turned to Katya and said, and I love your attitude. <laughs> I would live for that. It was hysterical. It, it was, was really, really funny. We fell out. Really, we both really fell funny. Also, well, the time that I bombed at a stand-up show and someone said, I liked it. 
like contrary to the people around her. It's the, I liked it. I don't think it was that bad. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Or, um, oh my God, I used to hate you. <laughs> I don't know what that is. People say I get that, that but yeah. they still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate you no. and I continue to Literally. do so. Thanks for reminding <laughs> yeah. me why. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, so. I have a question. Um, What makeup products do you love? Like what brands do you watch? Who do you love? Who do you stand? Who do I stand? Drop the makeup skincare routine, sis. Which when people at your level who do makeup at your level, I just always wonder what they're like. Your house is on fire. You have a few products to grab. What are you grabbing? Oh, I'm leaving the makeup. I think she's taking the hospital. Yeah. I'm leaving. The, I'm taking <laughs> I'm the taking original the face that I tore off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> my idea of like, I love special effects. That's like my nerdy side. That's yeah. what gets me excited. But I can obviously enjoy makeup in general. Like you have to if mm -hmm. you're in this industry. But... Oh. Yeah. I mean, I kind of like, I get a bit bougie now. Like I'm on like the Kevin Aquan life. Good for you. Do you think that the, I mean, I love the sensual skin, skin enhancer. enhancers. It's like um, money. Gorge. It's like cake money. batter. $48. Yeah. Dollars. yeah. $48 for like, like quarter of an ounce. Caviar yeah. under the eye. Yeah. yeah. It is a super emollient though. Like I do feel. It's cake batter. Yeah. I do feel that it maybe wouldn't batter. totally set or. I don't oh know. no, it sets. It okay. Sets. It works. Yeah. It sets, but it's. Sensual skin enhancer. I also remember they used to have blushes that were like this big and I'd be like work yeah. yeah I feel like you can make any product work though can I ask you a question not. about skin because I just read this book that's crazy about yeah. like our microbiome do you have skin <laughs> no this is a prosthetic <laughs> <laughs> that would be the if, if, if you she ever ripped revealed, her fucking face off in front of me, I would just die. And it was spot. Martin Short. <laughs> it's Martin Short. Okay, who would be the worst person if I tore my face off right now and you were presented with anyone who Calista would you, Gingrich? Be, both of you, who Calista would you find Gingrich. the most uncomfortable person? Callista Gingrich. Really? Yeah. Uh, you probably don't know her. Um or either one of my abusers or <laughs> one um, of them. Yeah. Or oh. I don't know what would be the oh. worst. Oh, if she pulled this face off and it's the same face, that would be chilling. Just an eighth of an inch smaller. Because who's <laughs> going to expect that it's men who, in black. Who's gonna expect that it's her being her the whole time? And then the whole top half of your body falls off and it's ginger minge underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Operating yeah. the left ankle. <laughs> yeah. He stood on her shoulders. Well, you got me, girl. Yeah. 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 Um, so wait, wait. I, I so you got hooked up with uh, effects people, right? It was kind of yep. you decide like a you uh, talked about like a quid pro quo arrangement for the the stunt. Um, how much knowledge prior to the big stunt had you had about prosthetics and how they work and stuff? Because that stuff is fucking complicated. It's a science. I yeah. think that's why I enjoy it because it's like you're taking chemicals, measuring everything precisely, and then you're yeah convincing someone even for it's two seconds on a film that it's real it's an artistry yeah. the prosthetic plastic surgery was the first time i had ever stuck a prosthetic on my face wow yeah it was a lot of pressure i was looking at your squishy character where you have the cheeks oh, and i mean where do you i can you i want to be squishy i, I just love be enhanced with, beauty i like yeah. things to look a little warped and yeah i like taking small pieces and i think anyone would say this in the industry it's always it's if you can apply small changes to a face and you don't know which pieces real and fake that's a successful makeup yeah especially with the 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 line between the that is so difficult because yeah. i had my cheeks um stretched for a video and it was so tough to get the it's rough it's really really tough to get the smooth edge yeah applying beauty makeup on top of prosthetics is just like a <sighs> it's rough yeah yeah you, you don't use beauty products even i work yeah yeah like, sherwin williams and i did a santa Sunny claus Gloss. illusion last christmas which i saw like, and i loved yeah yeah and when they did blush they were like well we can't use blush we have to use like a just alcohol based yeah. pink paint and like stipple it on were the pieces latex or silicone they were, I think, a hot foam latex. Okay, yeah. We've yeah. got to do a silicone moment. Silicone. Heavy. Silicone's where it's at. You can't, it, it, it's a lot easier to work with silicone, I think. It oh, because you can put skin. makeup on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's translucent, yeah. so you can paint it to look how skin actually should look. Yeah. Gray. Work. Gray and blue. Yeah. Transparent <laughs> and blue, if you're from England. <laughs> work. Oh, <sighs> did you want to ask your skin question? Yes, I do. I want, like, do you have a skincare routine for out of out of yeah. drag? And, and um, what would that be? What would that be comprised of? <laughs> I do drag, like, once a month. Work. So that is I can't do more. Skin. Like, that's great for the yeah, skin. Shaving every day, like it's just yeah. That's the killjoy for me. Yeah. And like, it won't use wet wipes. I think it like butchers my skin. It like it, strips up. It does. I'll only use the wipe once I've Ooh. basically dissolved it with something else. Yeah. Melt away bombs. Yeah. The spray. I've actually been using a melt away spray, which actually works. A melt away spray, like butter. Like, do pan? you use the one size spray? Yeah. I love it. What I is was it called? Gooped. One size. One yeah. size. Go off. 
um, makeup remover spray. It's the finest mist of like an oil. You coat it on. And it drips off. Yeah, you leave it on for like maybe 60 seconds and yep. you start to see the face drip Are off. you sure about that? No, I'm it's a serious. game changer. Okay. I was gooped. I'll try it. I'm, I want to get gooped. It's yeah. One size has a lot of products. That product is, I've never seen anything like it. Is that it. Patrick Star? Yes. And okay. I was like, how has no one thought of this? Okay. It makes the makeup come off on a wipe, like fall off. Yeah. Oh, that it's makes it almost gave me And that, she like, has the wet wipes on. that are like extra soaked. And the wet wipes are this big. They're giant. It's a towel. Could it's you a do it? Oh, wow. I'm cheap. I'll pull out the wet wipe and I have a pair of scissors Every- they keep with them and I cut them. <laughs> oh, I cut them in do threes. You really? Yes. Oh, my God. Because there's only 15 in a pack. Only 15? They're Jeez. expensive. 15 yeah. in a pack. Yeah. Um, that is such a good product. Yeah. Yep. Wipes fuck my face up. Well, Those makeup nutri- is so bad for the skin. But like a Neutrogena wipe, unless you put some remover. <gasps> yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's bad. And we've already bad. shaved like... Oh, yeah, you have the, all that abraded skin. Yeah, especially if you have like three days shaving in a row, like on Drag Race, it's like so Ugh. horrifying. It's so horrible. How many days in a row do you have to shave when you're on the show? Five. I was in drag six days last week. Oh, this one is. I'm that's in drag. Un- that's mentally unhinged. ill. Mental illness. That's unhinged. Mental behavior. illness. Mental illness. But what you're doing is you're shaving and you're taking off skin and you're exposing the pore basically and then packing makeup yeah. into it. You're packing seamless. Free- yeah. Well. <laughs> That's the thing, but drag queens in general have like um, live fast, die young. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like they're like, I'll look good tonight. Longevity is not the game for drag queens. I mean, we're not exactly like. Do you, uh, everybody yeah. in drag is either twenty one or like they're a lifer. They're fifty. <laughs> That's why every yeah. drag show is like the mother of the house is yeah, like yeah. turn in your music, <laughs> and then like twenty one year olds who are like, I'm the most sickening thing anyone's ever seen. Miss Hannigan yeah. and Annie. That's, oh, it. That's the hit. <laughs> yeah, little girls, little girls. Little little girls. girls. <laughs> A hundred percent. Have you ever done a real life drag show? Yeah. Do you live or you don't live? I like watching. Fun. Do you know what's bad is every time I go to a drag show, I don't know why for whatever reason, I'll always like sit near the front and like entertain it. I oh, love no. I love seeing the girls. I love drag. Yeah. Every time I've ever gone to a show, I've filmed a queen falling off the stage onto me. Well, are- I've got a whole, fold- <laughs> a whole folder on my phone. It's like the curse. I think because they get a little stressed out. Because they have your beady eyes. Like, and they've got the them. eyeshadow palette out back. and They're like, it's her. But is it her? Is <laughs> this a stage? But they fall Are we in our on house? Me. So they, wait, they what? They fall on me. Oh. And then they get injured and you go, I can take you to the hospital. <laughs> so that's where you learned how to. <laughs> that's how you got your doctor's license yeah. or whatever. I'm concerned that in the UK, you can just send away for your nurse's license or whatever the fuck no, you did. Yeah. No, the UK is much more regulated than the United States. I don't think you need a haircutting license there. But you need. You don't need to like study makeup or beauty or anything. No, but there are way more banned products in the UK than there are here in the US. Yeah, that's why. In terms of cosmetics and stuff. See, that's why I'm there. Yeah. 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 Jesus She's Christ. banning them. <laughs> she said, this one. product's not good. Ban it now. Literally, I'm working on my hand. <laughs> you are? No. Oh, we can cut it if you want, but. No, I I'm want not. you to. Yeah. I, will you do lips? Do you do your own line of like um, luscious lips for the ladies? Well, like filler? No, like glue on lips. Oh, I love prosthetic moments of fun. Yeah. You can get the old Alexa Stone cheekbones. They're like, it's a good they're old so one. so beautiful. Too. I love How it when I see. How much do they cost? I don't know. Oh, okay. Love it. I think <laughs> because they're handmade in the studio. Okay. I think it's, I would say around 60 pounds. But you can only wear prosthetics once. I think people forget that. Yeah, of course. Um, do you, you must love um, Pearl, Pearl Pearl's Pearl. character, Roxanne, yeah. Roxanne, Gorge. Roxanne, Fab. The makeup, the mummy makeup. Oh, the she mummy starts returns. With. Yeah. yeah, she told me that makeup. She's like, people don't understand. I'm in makeup for a couple hours yeah. just to start uh, the makeup. Yes, and then do the beauty face over that. That's the, the commitment face. you have yeah. to. I love that though. Yeah, yeah, and she she's doesn't committed. remove the makeup and then put foundation she on. Puts on she top. puts it on over. It's so gross. It's so fabulous. It's so good. I live for it. Yeah. So that kind of, I mean, I love, you, like, you love the grotesque, obviously. I love the grotesque, obviously. I think we obviously live in a world now where everything's censored, That's it's, which is infuriating. So I lean more towards just enhanced beauty. If it was down to me, I'd be leaving the house as Freddy Krueger every day and, like, living yeah. my best life. But people are a lot more accustomed to just seeing, like, the pumped look. Yeah. yeah. I leave the house as Freddy Krueger, and, and I try not to do that. But I don't want to step on your toes. Yeah. <laughs> do you feel comfortable talking about any procedures? Sure. There's a lot. We like to ask. Let's people. go down the list. What have you got? Bam, bam, bam. And also, what do you count as procedure? I, Injections I want, or what? Yeah, oh, I, I love to, it when the girls go on the on the on the race. Oh yeah, and they're all oh, about yeah. like I'm all for plastic surgery. I'm like, girl, you've had like half a mil in your lap. 
I'm like, that doesn't count as plastic surgery. Oh, they love to be like, I'm surge. I'm the surgery queen. I'm like, you've never been put under. I was going to say anesthesia. I'm like, breaking your wrist don't count. Anesthesia. Now. One day at the beach, I'll never forget, Naomi Small said, there's really no substitute for going under the knife. <laughs> I would agree. That sounds like a threat. I know. It, it was like, oh, you're 20 something. She said, there's no substitute for going in the knife. Yeah. And then she produced a <laughs> fucking meat cleaver. There is something quite like addictive about being put to sleep, like a medically well, induced coma, Michael which Jackson. you're paying for. Yeah. She, yeah. She a long put sleep. to sleep every night. Yeah. And then you wake up gorge. Well, well, you, you don't, don't wake, wake up, up gorge. gorge. Well, you wake for like up a very bandaged. split second, and then the swelling. You kicks wake in. up the mummy returns. That's that's <laughs> always so fascinating to me because I don't have the attention span to deal with the three months of re- like convalescence required to get to that stage. Yeah. How do you cope with that? Have you had a procedure that it took a while to heal, and you had to get through the bruising and the swelling and all that stuff? Most of them take, I would say, between six months to a year before you see oh, like the eat full my end result. Ass. Oh my god, it's a lot. Hair transplants take a year. That I know. Nose then, jobs a year. Yeah. Girl, and the thing about the hair transplants is you just have, you can't wear wigs. Well, you right, would have yeah. to take off from drag for months for that hair to like months. set. Someone had Someone it. Someone had it. All in, of the yeah. dolls have had it. All the dolls have had it. Yep. Every single one of them has had it. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Well, it's not crazy. It's just whatever. Aging as a man is not where it's at. No, but I'm just surprised that people don't like, that men don't lean into the fact that they can be bald. And it's not a, it's not even like, it's just a thing. It's absolutely an option. I loved yeah. having no it's hair and no eyebrows. absolutely an option. I love it. I'm so it's fine with easier. it. It's way easier. It's way easier. it's important to have the option with keeps. <laughs> Got you, baby. I'm just saying everybody's on a different hair journey. When I started losing my hair, I did not care. And especially when I shaved my oh, head, shit. I was more scared of going bald when I had hair. And then when I shaved my head, I was like, this is great. It's sexy. So it's hair. People love it. It's just yeah. easy. It's easy. And yeah. I'll throw a little wiglet on, a little bang if I need to. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you can do hats. <laughs> and when you have hair and you put on a hat, you're committing to wearing a hat all day. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. And you're yeah. bald. You can snatch that thing off. And there's yeah. no hat hair. You just live your yeah. life. Just live your life. With keeps. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break. <laughs> Hi guys, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite things to talk about, Squarespace. Um, I remember RuPaul mentioning Squarespace on her website, and it was always a funny joke, a funny joke that became a wonderful reality when I started using it myself. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity for people who want to make their own website, who don't want to hire a lot of people, don't want to... Um, take on too much because it's all very manageable by yourself. They've got websites, online stores, marketing tools, analytics. They've pretty much got everything you need in order to build an online presence, no matter what you do, no matter what your business is or what your hobby is. If you sell stuff, they've got e-commerce, um, everything to, to sell anything. They've got tools you need to get your business off the ground, um, templates, inventory management, checkout, secure payments, all that stuff. It's really great. If you support a cause or you do a charity, you can collect donations through contributions with PayPal, Apple Pay, Stripe, and Venmo. The Squarespace blogging platform will support a configurable sharing button, letting your visitors share content on Facebook, Twitter, Google, LinkedIn, StumbleUpon, Reddit, yada, 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 you name it. Also, they have analytics where you can gain powerful insight into who's visiting your site and how they're interacting with your content. I, I love Squarespace. I think I probably have six or seven domains right now registered through Squarespace, including my main website, We Love Katya. And it's just really easy. It's really wonderful. And it's wonderful. And it's easy. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bald to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bald to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hi, it's me, Trixie Mattel, and I want to talk to you about Green Chef. You guys, I am obsessed with Green Chef, and it has completely transformed my life. Green Chef is a CCOF certified meal kit company. Green Chef makes eating well easy with plans to fit every single lifestyle. You guys, I've been vegetarian since I was nine years old, and I have never received a Green Chef meal that I have not cooked and eaten and thoroughly enjoyed. Whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking for more balanced meals, Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit your preferences. You guys, it's so easy. I mean, Green Chef makes the cooking so easy. It just You spend less time stressing and trying to figure anything out. This beautiful little package arrives. It has several meals in it with... Uh, the package is, um, by the way, recyclable. The packaging keeps the food cool. I've been on set all day filming with like basically the sun coming in on my doorstep and the food when I got home was still chilled. 
The portions are all pre-portioned and pre-weighed and pre-individually like individually packaged, which makes cooking so easy because I don't have to bust out a scale or like measuring cups. I mean, everything is like done basically. And then I get to focus on building my skills. I have gotten so much better at cooking, you guys. I have learned to look in my fridge. Like when I'm not cooking with Green Chef, because I've cooked with Green Chef, I can now open my fridge and just figure out what to make. I mean, I had almost no culinary skills. And I've had, God, at least 30 Green Chef meals in the last year. And I mean, it's just, it's changed my life entirely. It saves you time by taking care of meal planning, grocery shopping. I mean, I don't even drive. So meal ingredients being delivered to me is life changing. Otherwise I have to walk kind of a far away. And most of the prep you need to do is already done for you. Honestly, the only thing you have to do is the fun stuff like the chopping. What I love about it, you guys, is being a vegetarian. It's America's number one meal kit for eating well with dinners that work for whatever works for you and not the other way around. Whether you're looking for carb conscious or gluten-free or plant-based or calorie conscious or like me, I just like vegetarian. You just want to have delicious, balanced dishes. And Green Chef has flavorful, good-for-you recipes that are sure to satisfy. You guys, I'm going to tell you this. You will get some recipes that you don't... It will have ingredients that you don't recognize. And you try them, and they're prepared in a way that is like, I can't believe I've gone my whole life without trying this. Seriously, it's life-changing. I'm obsessed with it. It's honestly one of the best things to happen to me in the last year. I just love it, and it changed my life permanently. I love it, love it, love it. I am such a great cook now because of Green Chef. Green Chef, also, the recipe cards are available to keep. I keep all my recipe cards, and I found myself shopping for those ingredients to make those recipes again. Go to greenchef.com slash bald130 and use code bald130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com slash bald130 and use the code bald130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. It is the number one meal kit for eating well. I love Green Chef. I love it. Cheers to 2022 and resolutions you can actually keep. How about having clean and shiny balls all year round? Our sponsors at Manscaped are here to save your balls this year and make the ball drop into 2022 the cleanest and sexiest ever. Set your first New Year's resolution with good intentions and join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com and use code BALD for 20% off plus free shipping. It's the new year and my resolution is to switch up my grooming game, which I will not go into right now because that's personal. Now, if you have a particular plan of action for your genital area in terms of grooming, Manscaped has got you covered. Inside the Performance Package 4.0, you'll find the signature lawnmower. This electric trimmer is designed to trim hair on loose skin, and advanced skin-safe technology reduces cuts and nicks on your delicate parts. A grooming routine isn't complete without applying Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver before showing off your new 2022 self. To complete the set, Manscaped threw in their Shed Travel Bag and Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs as free gifts to keep all your lovely bits stored comfortably. Whether your resolution is to work out more or travel to new places, be sure to travel to manscaped.com for our exclusive offer of 20% off plus free shipping with the code BALD. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code BALD at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code BALD. It's New Year, no pubes in 2022 with Manscaped. And we're back. <laughs> we're back with Alexis Starn. How much, how, how what is a stone in, in English? Um, the, the weight, what is that? I have no idea. Like, doctor you know, asked me today, how I much lost do you weigh? Stone, I lost half a stone. How, what is that, 14 pounds or something? Do you know? I think that's just people trying to be modest. No, 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 no. It's I've a only, unit of measurement. I've put on 15 pounds is so much worse than, I put on a stone. I lost a half stone's a, a lot. A stone, like, I think it's 14 pounds. I think you're right. Yeah, I'm just curious. Where'd the Alexis Stone come from? Alexis came from Ugly Betty, okay. Rebecca Roman, okay. and Stone from Sharon Stone, Basic Instinct. Awesome. Ug- yeah. oh. Gag. Everyone Ugly thinks it's from- Is that Rebecca yeah. Roman? No, um, I know who that is, but is Ugly Betty, American that's Vanessa from- Williams, right? Yes. She's okay. on that. Yep. yep. I've, I've never seen it, but when I did Queen of the Universe, somebody was like, I love, what was her name on that? Um, Will oh, Amina Will Slater. Amina, yeah. And people kept calling her that, and I was like, what are they Why talking are about? That was my yeah. reference point when I wanted to do drag. It was, was like so like, camp and fabulous. Yes, great and character, like, great yeah. diva, diva. Rebecca Romaine. Oh, oh hot bitch. Don't get me started. Her face. Don't get Girl. me fucking started. Uh-huh. And the mystique, the full body <sighs> makeup, gaggy. Nightmare. What about Nightmare. the Jennifer Lawrence mystique makeup in the, the subsequent film? Would you like to comment on that? Yeah, what are your, um, what's the your Smurf official take? Acne? The Smurf Girl, it with was acne. Tea. Tea, yeah. Tea. Absolute tea. I wanted to love it. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just, to me, it's the most incredible character in the most unforgettable. Yeah. Res- I just know. don't think she like portrays the character like it should have or could have been done. But the makeup, like, it's a pretty like go to mm-hmm. makeup. At any time you fuck with the originals, though. That's yeah. like been nailed perfectly before. They can't, you can't ever outdo it. Yeah. yeah and makeup technology has come so far yeah. when they've nailed it 15 years ago. You better come correct. Yeah. I, yeah. Do you have when some, you, go ahead. Any favorite, um, any favorite films where you think the practical appliances and stuff are just lit? Anything David Marty does, like Pan's Labyrinth, Hellboy, oh, Crimson yeah. Peak is like, and I've seen them in the studio. Like the movies don't even give justice to like the, inc- like the intricacy of like, just the skill sets that go into it. You've got like a team of 50 just building one piece that you see for two seconds. Oh my Jesus. God. I mean, Hellboy is incredible. It's that just a shit's visual fucking out of, out of control. I always get dragged for this, but I always what say- was the P- Crimson Peak? I've never seen that. Just a gorgeous, like romantic film. Okay. It didn't do incredibly well at cinema because it was advertised as a horror, but again, like a visual overload and they got use it. the original teams that they all are used to working with. So that's when like the most iconic stuff's produced. Gotcha. But it's rare that I see like a continued franchise where the makeup gets better. Oh, right. Yeah. Because yeah. Freddy Krueger, they did the remake. I prefer the remake because it they wanted it to actually look like a Burns victim. Yes. Thank you. Yes. It's incredible. He looks burned. He looks it's terrifying. Scary. The whole when he turns his face, his face has Holes. pockets. Yeah, missing. they use green yeah. just for like a little bit of like CGI. Yeah. yeah, it, yeah. His skin looks burned. He looks yeah. like jerky. Very yeah. scary. Versus Very the scary. original Freddy, yeah. obviously it's the eighties. The skin is almost built up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. If you're burned, you would face. be smaller. It's a pizza face, yeah. They, don't know, they did a good job of that. I great actually watched job. the making of it last night. So oh, really? that's it's a why great it's movie. I wish people liked that movie more because I, I think it's obviously not the original, but it's not bad. Well, I just- It's uh, terrifying. It's scary. Uh, yeah, but I didn't like that they just made him an un- unapologetic pedo. A pedophile he, that he kills was you in, a pedo. when you're asleep. That was unconfirmed though. He was clearly a pedo. And no, Freddy versus he was no. Yeah, Freddy versus it, Jason when he has the picture of the little kid and he licks the back of it. That's Freddy versus Jason though. But like in the original, it was like he Alleged. was accused of it, and then the the family, uh, the, the people around the neighborhood killed oh, him. I see what you're saying, but then, then maybe he's they like answered a the question. Vengeful. Yes, in the remake, they pushed the narrative that he's a pedophile. Yes, because they're like that was my favorite dress. Oh, you I know, love when she goes when she goes. Fuck you. And he goes, I like that game. Oh, Literally. That is Pedo so disgusting. Peter it's Geddon. Gorge. It's just too much. It's too much. It's too scary. The actor they got was also very short. Yeah. And oh. creepy without makeup. T. Yes. T. Yeah. He's uh, William H. Macy. Not William H. Macy. The I know who you're talking about. Wilhelmina Slater. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wilhelmina Slater. <laughs> well, that's fun. Um, What else? So- what is the, I, I always think like it would be nice to see you on Drag Race, except that I don't ever think that. I think that you're too good for Drag Race. And I was talking about you um, earlier today with a couple of people because we were talking about the new season. I was like, there needs to be something else. Another Drag Race, not Drag Race, but another drag show, got Dragula, Drag Race. I think that you should host or create another like opportunity for girls who have more of like an artistic or off... Um, off kilter kind of like point of view. I definitely think there needs to be like in general more representation across the board. Yeah, I don't ever think it's a case of being too good for. A TV no, I'm, show. I'm, that's yeah. I don't. I shouldn't say well, too good. It's like say it. Um, I think like I've you would. Said it it's before. like, well, yeah. I think you. It would be a, a waste of your talent. It's probably something I fucking said before. Also, but you don't have enough time. An hour and a half. You know it's what I mean? It's expensive. Six weeks of drag for free for a badge. <sighs> Mary, that's right? You don't even get any money. Mary, you don't even and none of the money. girls from the UK get visas, so they really do shoot themselves in the foot. Like, wait, what? what you mean? would think, if anything, they would go on the show, get the badge, and then come to the states and at least like cash in that way. But like, the UK isn't very lucrative, I believe, oh, when it comes to I drag. See what you mean? I, I make more money working with makeup brands, which is why I just like I stick to that. Yeah, like, yeah. of course, it's yeah. abnormal. You. The girls know, like it's an abnormal amount of money when you could do it from the comforts of like a studio yeah. at home. Yeah. Or you do it for like pennies. Yeah. Especially if you self-produce content. Those True. brands love doing activations where they just give you money and turn a key and it's not a team. You deliver them one piece. Yeah. You and keep it's all easy. the money. You yeah. keep all the money. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you work smart already. And it's like, how is um do you like working on YouTube? No. No. <laughs> you don't like it? No. I don't like social media. <laughs> It scares me where it's going. Really? Why? Say more about that. Is it where the do you TikTok think it's going? dances? Because we hate those. Not TikTok. Yeah. T- using uh, uh, doing the bare ooh, minimum. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, to I'm explain like, like um, uh, health, pr- like you know, health practices or safety procedures, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, crazy. And they're like twelve years old, and they they like, oh. like fifty million overnight. I'm like, fuck you. It's oh. dark. It's so dark. Have you ever seen? Do you follow influencers in the wild? Influencers publicly, in the wild? like it's, no, it's an Instagram account <laughs> called Influencers in the Wild, where someone will see an influencer on a beach doing a photo shoot, and they'll photograph, oh, the, they'll videotape them, them videotaping. So then you'll see. Somebody secretly oh taping God. someone doing a TikTok dance, and that's when you see it. That's when you see it for what it is. That's and you're like, this is dark. They do that on the Hollywood Boulevard, and I think it's the weirdest thing. I oh, almost Mary. posted about the other day. Like everyone's just doing fucking TikTok dances in front of everyone. Yeah. I'm just trying to see fucking Robin Williams a star, right? And they're oh, doing God. awkward seaweed dances. I'm yeah. like in public, seaweed dances, and <laughs> in public, and they don't care. We were at the AMC movie theater seeing the um, well, um not The Walking Dead. Resident Evil in a movie, mm, yeah. and there was a child with their phone propped up doing a dance while the movie was playing. No, oh. in the lobby, but oh. like people were bustling around. Yeah. Like, get the fuck out of here, child. Yeah, I mean, I think it's I, it's pretty. It's if you see a child in public doing a TikTok dance, you can just kick them as long as you don't leave a mark. Right? Yeah, 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 you just yeah. push well, them in a traffic. Who are they gonna tell? Yeah, who are they gonna tell? TikTok. Yeah, they're not listening. They Besides, kids them. could tell a lot of people they're being abused, and no one will believe them. Don't ask me why I know. Hi, it's me, Trixie Mattel, Unknown Bald. Hi, and you know what? I just got to say this. I love super short hair. I love shaving my head. I also loved having hair when I had it. And the great thing about hair is having the choice to do whatever you want with it. My experience with Keeps is fabulous, okay? I try it. It gets delivered to my home. It's discreet. It's easy to understand. It's an online doctor consultation. I love anything where I can just see a doctor and get the prescription I need without having to leave my house. I don't even drive, so it's fabulous for me. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. Convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't even have to leave your house. Low-cost treatments, they start at just $10 a month, and Keeps offers generic versions. Discreet packaging, proven results. Keeps has even more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act fast. You guys, I love shaving my head, but I also love the way my hair looks when it's a little fuller and shaved, so that's kind of what I'm going for. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash bald to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's keeps.com slash bald to get your first month free. keeps.com slash bald. Hi, it's me, a little girl. Kick off 2020 with a better checking account with no monthly fees. Chime, an award-winning app and debit card has no overdraft fees, foreign transaction fees, monthly fees, or service fees. And you can trust me because I'm a little girl. With over 60,000 fee-free in-network ATMs and many locations like Walgreens, 7-Eleven, CVS, you can access your money when you need it, wherever you need it. I need my money at the Popsicle stand. (laughs) You can also send money to anyone, even if they aren't on Chime. Feel free. It's free for you. And no cash out fees for them. Make your first good decision of the new year and join over 10 million people using Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. And I would know I'm a little girl. I gotta start thinking about my credit score now so I can finance a new dollhouse. Tee hee hee. <laughs> Get started at Chime.com slash bald. That's Chime.com slash bald. Okay, bye. Banking services provided by and debit card issued by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank, NA, members FDIC. Get fee-fee transactions on any MoneyPass ATM in a 7-Eleven location or at any AllPoint or Visa Plus Alliance ATMs. Otherwise, out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. Sometimes pay anyone instant transfers can be delayed. The recipient must use a valid debit card or be a Chime member to claim funds. These breaks are giving me life. <laughs> what do you aspire to do with some of your um, work in the next year? Yeah. Do you know what? I have no idea. Love I'm it. kind of throwing That's shit and seeing way. what sticks, but yeah. I know I need to be here for obvious reasons. It's Wait, on Earth or in LA? In LA. Yeah. Just like, yeah. it's not the forever goal. The moment I got here, I was genuinely like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Really? I was like, now that I'm here, I'm I like, love that. now what? Yeah. And it's been reassuring because people here are a lot kind. Not everyone. There are a lot of kind people here that I would like to say get it. 
Uh-huh. Hollywood, you're like nine times more likely to be eaten walking down the street. <sighs> yeah. But it's Hollywood, yeah. and even like the dogs' assholes get sun. So you yeah. take the pros or the cons. Even the get dogs' assholes. Even the dogs' get asshole get so you like I you describe yeah. my career that way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Burnt dog hole, <laughs> <laughs> crispy. You know what I find about Los Angeles is um, there are a vast amount of people who don't get it. That's that scary. They, well, they don't get the joke of it, yeah. and so it's the take like they, it's dead serious to them. Yeah, but there are a good bevy of people who are like, "Isn't this whole situ- this whole neighborhood is ridiculous? Yeah. This it, whole business is funny. ridiculous. It's funny when you it's get funny, yeah, and we got this many psychics in one town. It's bound to be a, like a hoot. It's you like that I mean? Hollywood sign right there. You yeah. go up there, you realize it's big white drywall basically yeah it's not magical no it's magical from here and there's a lot of dead birds up there a lot of dead and birds. it's yeah it's, it's unhomed <laughs> individuals jerking off of turds yeah with three phones i can like i think i the reason that i'm okay here now is i can appreciate the novelty of like the nice ones live in the fucking valley and hill oh, you come yeah. down you go to the studios you yeah. film and like the tourists yeah. fund this abnormally crazy money machine it's created and as long as you don't like get consumed by the fantasy of it you can just enjoy it for what it is yeah and it makes it very it's very uh inspiring to make fun of it when it's right in front of you every day oh it's a source of inspiration for sure face work here you become blind to it blind it's so normal blind blind. and also there's a couple of things like it's exciting to live in la because the big one the big earthquake we're due for it that's gonna be that'll be great or you should really come for that. Class warfare here is going to be a fucking riot, literally. Well, they want to I mean, eat the rich, but the rich here are very skinny. <laughs> too so you're going to have to eat a lot of Not a of lot of rich. meat on them at all. Yeah. Right. <laughs> eat the rich as what? An appetizer? <laughs> yes. Not going to gnaw on uh, Callista Flockhart's uh, sinewy bones. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And you can't eat plastic anyway. So. Tea. Tea mama. Tea mama. Well, thank you. I mean, we just, we yeah. love you. I can't believe thank you were so came much. and it's just so Yeah, wonderful. thank you so much for doing this. You're literally the perfect guest. Thanks. I had, I went on Twitter and asked questions, but I'm. Oh, the time. comments. Oh, maybe I'll delete the tweet. <laughs> I will not be rude. Do people hate you? Yeah. Still? Well, I've made loads of mistakes over like growing up on the internet and I'm fully aware of it. Oh and yeah. Like, I'm sure you're the only one too. Yeah. But like, there are a lot of crazy people here that like are so socially unaware and they're gonna end up like killing either themselves or each other. So I would like to think I've come out of the other end of it. Like, What what people don't realize is um, people often misrepresent themselves with things they say. Yeah. And people often misinterpret things they hear. Yeah. And if you realize that, it's you shouldn't be mad at anyone from the internet ever. Nobody's nobody's perfect, yeah. And also it just, shut up, don't say, you know. I I wish I could do it again. Like there's lots of things that I've made mistakes on and things I, that give me the ick. Mm-hmm. Like, but like, well, I think that well, indicates you, growth. If you burn this persona to the ground, I yeah. know that you're able to come up with a new one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I <laughs> will. That would be such a gag. I mean, I know you're going to fake your own death, bitch. I know it's it. It's fraud. I looked into it. Oh, it is fraud. It's okay. fraud. But it not, takes not one her already th- checking it out. Oh, I can use this Christ. These if companies, these really companies good. are trying to pay you to talk about their products and they're like, What's your social? You're like, which well, one? Literally. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. I love no, you, so thank you so much. Yay. Thank you both of you. Goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. So oh. wait where can we find you online? Online? Yeah. Where, uh, where can the kids find you? Who are the not? Alexis Stone. The Alexis Stone Easy on Instagram. Peasy. Only because it was the only username that was available. It's so wanky. Somebody else was Alexis Stone? Yeah, bitch. And she wouldn't let me buy it. What a fucking cunt. Yeah. On TikTok, she had to be Frederica Bimmel because someone has Katya Zama. <laughs> no, I didn't have to be. I chose to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, you could message that person and get it. And you said, I don't want it. No, because no, no, no. they like they turn around, they say, okay, I want 20,000. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm fine with these big roomy hips. Yeah. Can I tell one in, in, uh, lifting moment before we go? Yeah. When I first did Drag Race, yeah. I went to buy TrixieMattel.com and it said somebody already bought it. And How I was much? bitching to a friend going, somebody fucking bought my domain and now I can't. And he goes, I bought it a few years ago because <gasps> I thought you would need it someday. Goal. Oh, Isn't that my sweet? God, that is, He's that like, is I believe so in you. sweet. That's yeah. really sweet. Do you that, still talk to them? No. No, you no, no them. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really sweet gesture. Yeah. Many people like that. That's incredibly sweet. Honestly, that's it's kind so of cornball, but if you have no, a child, you just sweet. buy their domain that right away. That's, that's weird. So sweet. What did that's you want? weird. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't want anything. I, I was like, bet you they're going to gouge me too. And he was like, no, they won't because it was me and I bought a few for free. That's the oh. sweetest. Thing. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Humanity restored. And yeah. it's only the beginning of the year. And the world was good once again. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>